Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Alpha Plays here, and welcome to a brand new video. Today, we're doing something a little bit different. We're actually we're gonna make a game today. Uh, I'm in a game software called Core. You can download it in the description below if you don't have it already. It's on Epic Games. Today, we're gonna actually be messing around with NPCs in the game, and I'm planning on making this like a full series, uh, a couple of episodes, and me just basically as I learn the game, I'm showing you guys how to do various stuff. So let's get straight into it, man. So today we are talking about NPCs. So we're gonna want to go to the community content here. Let's go over here, and you're gonna see something called NPC AI Kit. Uh, if it's not there, just type in uh, NPC, and it should pop up. NPC AI Kit. So we're going to import that in our project. Yes. And now, if you go to the core content, you see the NPC AI Kit. So for some reason, you actually have to drag in one of these. Uh, so I'm just gonna drag in this just so it actually goes to the project content because right now in the project content we, there's no NPC here so you actually have to uh, make the game realize that it's here so you actually have to just drag in just drag in this and push camp example and then just do control Z which is just the undo function uh, or you could just delete it and now if we go to the project content now we have <laughs> imported content right here and NPC AI kit now you basically want to just hit the drop down here and let's go to dependent templates and now you could drag in an NPC so if we look here I'm gonna drag in a skeleton so I'm just gonna search in here skeleton and you should see RPG skeleton marksman swordsman full armed so I'm gonna drag in a marksman so he's gonna have a crossbow and now, now let's see so here's our NPC and to start up the game you basically just want to hit this up here this is what it looks like right now so um, as you can see, we're already getting errors and he's not really doing much at all. He's just basically looking at me. So we're gonna fix everything right now. You're getting this error because he's not really doing anything. So you're actually all gonna have to download something in the community content as well called combat dependencies. This will actually, called combat dependencies. This will actually right here, by, by, by standard combo the G right here, he also did the NPC AI kit, you know. He does a bunch of stuff, you know, he's pretty cool. I'll leave his channel in the description below. But anyway, let's import that. This will actually make them, you know, actually show aggression, actually fight you. So let's go yes, save. And now, once again, we got to go to the core content, drag it in. Now let's start it up and see what happens. Now he actually shoots at me. I'm not getting that error anymore. All of that is good. And uh, I'm strictly making this video for uh, fighting, uh, like NPCs. Uh, if you want to make like a neutral NPC that doesn't fight you, all you really got to do is go to the marksman here. And go down a little bit and you should see team right here and he just changes to team one now he's gonna be friendly and as you can see he's not really gonna time we're just gonna chill there hey guys there's one thing I actually forgot to mention this video and is actually you can make them fight each other so if I was to add two of these guys I'm just gonna do control C control V move them up here okay now I'm just gonna move them out of here and let's see what happens when we put them on different teams so I'm gonna go to the marksman here and put them on team team one this is what happens when you got them on different teams. So they of course have like the exact same power, so they're both they're both gonna die. Uh, they're literally like the same exact person, but you could change their attack if you want one of them to win. Or uh, attack speed, any of that. <laughs> Wait, he did win! I guess, I guess he got the shot off first. Yeah, because he, he stood there for a little bit, he didn't get the shot off first. Damn. He killed me. Well guys, <laughs> That's how you switch teams if you want to do that. Let's carry on. You could actually change the size of him as well. So let's go to the marksman and go to, let's just go here and we should see scale. So if I set this to 1.2, it is going to apply it to all the axis. And let's go okay. And as you can see, there he is. So now he is bigger. So you can scale basically any NPC weapons, all of that. Now we need to actually see the collider. So let's go to the drop down. You should see collider. Hit on it. And go down a little bit and you should see visibility put that on force on now this is basically an area where if other enemies or if somebody bumps into him they won't just like walk right through him like a ghost but as you can see here it's a little big for my NPC so we're gonna actually edit this down to actually make it make sense so let's go to the scale tool up here or you could just hit R on the keyboard and let's just make this a little there you go about there like that uh, I think right there is good that's basically covering the skeleton uh, I might you could also move it I'm gonna go to the move and move it down a little bit and actually maybe I should make it a little taller there we go so it's basically just wanted to edit it a little bit so if enemies bump into here to actually you know 
then I'm just gonna walk through them. So if I start it up, um, you're gonna see what I'm talking about. But of course, you don't actually wanna see this while we're in the game. So let's go back to that collider and turn that visibility off now. First thing is having a health bar because we don't actually know how much damage he's doing to us. So let's go to the core content and type in health. And type in health. As you can see, you should see health bar. So let's just drag, drag that into the scene. And now we have health value. So now if I start it up, now I have a health bar and you'll see it actually does five damage, which we could edit. We could, I'm gonna show you guys how to do all that. But um, we got that working. He's actually shooting at us and everything like that. Now, one thing, uh, his rotation is a little weird. He's kind of looking this way when we spawn this way. So he's not really attacking us. So let's just rotate him. You go to the rotate tool up here, or you can just hit E. And then the hierarchy here, you just want to go to the marksman. And you see the blue, the blue one right here, blue line. You just want to move this. And that's how you rotate. Now he's looking our direction. Let's start it back up. And now he's already going to be shooting us. Uh, we are looking this way. So if you want to move him, you could do that too, because you know if you want to be right in front of you. So I'm just gonna to go to the move tool, the translation, and I'm just gonna hit on the marksman, and then I could just move him over here. And I am gonna to have to rotate him again because he's in a different direction. So let me just do that. Now he's gonna be right in front of us, as you can see. All right, guys, uh, I'm just adding this in. Uh, in case you didn't actually want to move him, you could actually rotate your spawn as well. That's just a different option. Let's go to rotate. You could rotate your spawn. You can see this right here. This is basically where you're going to be looking. This little arrow right here. So wherever I move this with the blue line, this is where you're going to be looking at. Now guys, to my outro. I got a bunch of cool stuff planned for this series, including like shops, uh, loot drops, lock the doors. And hopefully, I, I don't know if you could do custom music. That would be cool. I don't know. I'll have to do research on that one. But thank you guys so much for watching, man. Next video, we're going to do combat. See you guys there. Peace.